Welcome to Heritage USA. I didn't think I'd ever see that and say that again. Yeah, really. But here we are at Heritage USA. Yes. We're on Main Street and uh, we're so excited because we we're at the round table. We've had an amazing week. Yes, and, uh, with Rick Joyner and Mighty Men and Women of God. You were there, Rick Eldridge here Rick with me today. You were there, us. what do you yes. think of this? Oh, it was fantastic. I have 14 pages of note that I, <laughs> I've got to go back through and, and uh, it's just so much, it's like a fire hose. Yes. just so yes. much information. Yeah. Yes, and, and it was good and bad. I mean, it was good that God's gonna do all these marvelous things, God's gonna take care of us, but boy, some wild times are coming. It is, but you know, I think having the information, we know better how to pray. Yes. We know better how to prepare. Right. And we know better how to instruct as leaders those around us. That's and, right. And I think that's what I get from this. And uh, it's good. especially being in my business, which is the entertainment business, yes. which, you know, yeah. it's kind of hard to find Christians maybe sometimes in our business. Yeah. Uh, to come here and hear these men of God who are top of their field, excellent yeah. in what they let do. Me, let yes. me introduce you properly. This is yeah. Rick Eldridge, right. movie producer, movie director, movie everything. Very and you're right. the CEO of Real Works. That's right. That's R-E-E-L, right? Real, like the film Like reel. the film Real Works right. Studios. Mm -hmm. Producer of great movies, by yes. the way. Yes. And this is the man who is producing movies that you can watch without worrying about some awful thing coming up to embarrass you and your family and hurt your kids and all. You did the Trump movie, which That's we... Right. The Trump uh, prophecy. All, all of our staff and I mean, <laughs> and it was so funny because the people that live at Morningside, we all went to the same theater because it was only playing at the right. one theater right. in, our near, in our area. And it was like a family union. It was like being in Mayberry. I mean, you know, we were all there and, and Lori and I sat in the, the middle front row where all the people walk in. So we were shaking hands. It was fun. <laughs> Wasn't it, was, it funny? It was, for us, it was like family and we enjoyed it. But I understand that the theaters just sold out throughout the country. How did, how did Trump Prophecy do? Uh, did, did very you, well. We were, were so impressed with the responses we got back from people. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things that, that really meant a lot to me uh, you know, we, we told a great story that, that really emphasizes prayer, yes. praying for our nation, yeah. praying for our country, for the unity of our country. And, uh, and then it ends with a very uplifting, inspirational yes. uh, message of, of who we are as Americans and That's what right. we should be proud of as Americans. That's right. And, uh, but what happened yeah. that just blew my mind, yeah. all across America, I started getting calls from people that said, you won't believe it. Everybody stayed through the credit roll. Mm -hmm. And then they held hands in the theaters and prayed. Yeah. There were small groups in lobbies and people sent me pictures of yes. just holding hands with strangers and praying. <laughs> I love uh, it happened in the theater we were in. And I didn't do it. I didn't start the prayer. Some I should have, but I don't know who the man was, but one of the men and just said, let's all pray. Yeah. And, and well, we all and, stood and up and prayed together. And, and these are strangers holding <clears> hands and and you know, this, this happened around the midterm elections. Yes. There was a lot of really, I mean, the Kavanaugh hearings how were did, going how, on. Oh, yeah, how so did, much right. happening. I gotta, oh, I'm so yeah. excited about what you did. How did you, why did you do that ending? How did you have, was that gutsy to do? Did you, were you debating whether, I mean, it's like the movie ends and you got another, what, 10 minutes or right. so going? Of, of the conversations. Well, what I wanted to do after the, the dramatic feature happens mm -hmm. is I really wanted people to, to have I mean, we're talking about prayer. I wanted them to have context to pray. And so we had 13 men from around the world who yeah. are experts in their field, whether it's economics, uh, yeah. uh, military, uh, world affairs, uh, po politics, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, giving us context uh, as to how to pray. And, and it was around the idea of what does it really mean for America to be great? Right. You know, what does it mean to our military to be strong, to be yes, great? Yes. What does it mean for our foreign affairs to be you know, uh, connected and interacting as, as our president is doing today, even yes. uh, in, in Vietnam, meeting with uh, Korea again? That's right. uh, what does it mean for us to, to, to embrace Israel? You yeah. know, and mm -hmm. we had the former communications director of Netanyahu talking about that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and I think all of that together gave people context to pray and. Yeah. And this just happened all over the country. The, the first call I got was from a theater in Nashville that was just packed. They had to turn people away. Uh, and everyone stayed to the end. And a lady stood up in the back of the room and said, we should pray now. Yeah. And she began reciting the Lord's Prayer. 
And as she did, this whole audience of strangers in unison began to pray with her. And uh, I just, yeah, you know, I, I just couldn't handle it. It was just, I mean, there's no thing at the end of the movie that says pray now. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just exactly. happened. It, the it, spirit it of the was, Lord was there. It was kind of it had to be yes. to move in at that time. Absolutely. And and it was a period in our world where I think people felt felt a little hopeless, you know, yeah. because yeah. You know, we've got the Kavanaugh hearings That's going. Right. We've got people, you know, just you know, fighting within each other within our nation and. And, uh, and, and what do we do with this? Yeah. And, 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 uh, and if nothing else, we can pray. That's you know, Don and Mary yeah. Colbert were in your movie. I right. mean, they weren't in the movie. I mean, they somebody played them. Movement. They, yes, they, right. they were Mary playing. Really and uh, Mary and Don are, I would say, friends. our best friends, probably. Two of our yeah, best friends we have on earth. And he's, my, and he's my doctor as well. But I was in on that prayer that ending where mm -hmm. the the trumpets were sounded all right. over the, 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 do you remember what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, absolutely, a shofar. Yeah. <clears throat> a shofar, mm -hmm. yeah. I, and how many shofars, I wonder, were? were oh, there were, there had to be <clears throat> hundreds. You yeah. just, uh, <laughs> and, and, you, and you put that on. People don't understand that that's a real moment. Yeah. I was involved with that. Mm -hmm. And there was days when I couldn't even get in because the lines were jammed, the systems in America jammed yeah. Yeah. with prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, God's doing something. And, you know, I forgot it in this round table, the percentage of a Christians in America. Did you, did you get that number? Do you remember? Well, the percentage of Christians in America was 30%, I right. believe, that were yeah. truly <clears throat> evangelical yes. Christians. Yes. yes. Rick, why are you doing movies? Why, what, why, what brings you to this point? You know, God's given all of us, and, and we just heard some amazing people that are really at the top of their mountain, at the top of their field. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I would call myself that, but God's given me an opportunity to use the talent. But you're that doing I have great movies. To Come do on. What I do, and yes. uh, but for two reasons. Listen, I can think, I say, you're you're too modest, Lori. Yeah, he is. Lori, yes. your three f favorite movies. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I know your number one favorite. Uh -huh. You have a trilogy yes. of of a series. Yes. Tell him. What is it? The ultimate gift. I have often said, and you know, <coughs> it's Lori's you know, favorite movie. I, That's and, great. and I can imagine yeah. that I would actually meet you, <laughs> Mr. Producer, uh, the the executive yeah. producer, Rick Aldridge, one day. But the ultimate, yeah, the ultimate trilogy, that the series, the ultimate right. gift, the, the ultimate gift movie is just such a, you know, it doesn't, it's not Bible thumping type right. thing. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, right. I knew there there was an underlying message of right. this is how this is. These are the attributes of God. Yes. In this, me in this. Well, the gifts message. are told as gifts, but if you layer that over the top of of the gifts of the Spirit yes. and the gifts of yes. life that are mentioned in the Word, they are there. That's right. Uh, but to answer your question earlier, my goal is yeah. really to tell stories mm -hmm. that uh, at a, at a level of excellence that yes. hopefully competes in the marketplace. They do. But that <laughs> that do. very naturally. Mm -hmm bring about uh, the attributes of God. Yeah, yes. you do. Through the nature of the story. And so there's redemptive value. Yes. Uh, there's conflict. Right. Uh, there's there's, there's uh, all of that. But very naturally, we see that it's, you know, being a Christian is doesn't have to be all that weird. That's right. It can be real. <laughs> yeah. And so we try to tell the story in the yes. way that it's a real, natural outpouring of who they are. It's How so many good. movies have you produced in your lifetime, do you think? Well, uh, feature films, mm -hmm. I've done 16. Uh, but I've got over you know, with TV and with some of my kids' animated product over a oh. hundred titles in the marketplace. And you, you've done a lot of kids stuff. A lot of kids programming, yes. Wow, that's so great. and that's been so much fun. Yeah. And that's so important because Very. they're putting, you know, the occult and everything in kids' movies. Yes. And it's so good to have movies that are clean. Absolutely. That's right. Well, we did the uh, the Hermie and Friends series yeah. with Tim Conway and Don Knotts, and right. and they're telling stories about uh, you know lying, you know, and uh, yeah. so yeah. it's a it's a one of the stories is about lying, and the neat thing that we do in our in our movie, and it's on the DVD too, is uh, we because it's animated, okay, yeah. so you you hear Tim's voice, but you don't see Tim right. on screen, yeah, uh, but we go back and we'll do. Uh, kind of behind the scenes interviews with all of our actors. And so, mm -hmm. and those are so rich because I'll be able to say, Tim, 
when you were a kid, did you ever lie? Did you ever? <laughs> and they oh, let me tell you about it. And they don't go into, you know how Tim is, and yeah. he tells his story. So it's real. And, and, and I think kids can see, you know, not that it's just it's wrong to lie. Yes, exactly. But they can see that it's okay to be forgiven, too. That's Why right. did you want to okay be? to learn from that. That's so Why good. did you want to be here yeah. at this round table? What, what do you take from this? You know, I think these are some of the, the most powerful men of God in our nation that, yes. uh, again, at, at, at the various mountains of, of, of expertise that yes. They, yes. they're yeah. in and, and serving in, whether That's it's right. pastors or, or, or in business or in military. And, uh, you know, I, I get so much from uh, uh, hearing this diversity of conversation and, yes. and connectivity as they're working in their world and being an influence in that world. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, it's it's just phenomenal. I'd I'd pay lots of money to be here, I know. and they just let me come. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> they just let us come yeah. too. It's amazing. It really is, and some of the information is almost like top secret. I mean, these yeah. people yeah. are are connected, and Truly. I'll tell you what. Without God, America is going to be in great trouble. Right. We can't right. go the wrong road, yeah. and there's a road out there that. It's kind of a wide road right now that people are looking down mm. that could bring America to destruction. Mm. That's right. And I think that the, the, the thing all of us together, you know, as we begin, and we talked about this some uh, over the course of this, this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, I won't be specific, but I think the, the idea that we need to hold each other accountable. Yes. Uh, we need to lift each other up. Right. We need to encourage each other. Amen. And uh, even when we're not with each other, That's to encourage it. who they are and what they're doing in the marketplace. That's right on. And uh, you know, and that's I think I, I sense that too, and yes. I see that in in the interaction. And uh, it's an iron sharpens iron thing, it is. where you can lay an idea out there yeah. and then hear someone from a totally different perspective, mm -hmm. uh, you know, give you their opinion based on on where they're coming from, right. which is very different from you. And right. boy, that's such valuable information. Yes. And, uh, and I think that, that God really refines us uh, by being able to, to hear from folks like you and, mm -hmm. and, and all of us come from so many, so many different backgrounds and right. so, many di so many different perspectives. Yes. And we've had so many different experiences. That's and right. so what a rich time. It's it really was. Very. I just want to ask you, are you working on a project now? I am. I'm always working on a project. <laughs> I love that about you, Rick. Uh, That's the first thing I asked him. What are you working on? When I saw him right. the other day, I go, what are you working on, Rick? Uh, and you said... We just finished shooting a movie called When We Last Spoke. And uh, I, I had so much fun with this film. It's uh, period 60s. So we had 60s you know, outfits, yes. which were always fun, <laughs> always you know, fun. the polka dots and the stripes and I the everything yes. and hairdos and, yes. and cars. I'm a car nut. And oh. we had, you know, <laughs> oh. there were days on oh, set that it that. looked like we were at a car show. Oh, and there were man. just cars coming and going from everywhere. Just fun. Oh. And uh, and so everything was 60s. And yeah. uh, and it was the setting was a very small town radio station. Mm -hmm. So 60s music. We, we licensed over 40 hits from the 60s oh that, that play through the course of this movie. Oh, us baby boomers it's, are going to love phenomenal. that, it's, I can tell you so right it's, now. It's fun. Yes. Uh, the story's about two little girls, mm -hmm. uh, an eight-year-old and a ten-year-old, who, uh, you know, during the 60s, dad's off in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Mom decides, I don't like this small-town life, so she drops the kids off with the grandparents and takes off to New York. Mm -hmm. So the kids are growing up with their grandparents, and it's Melissa Gilbert and Corbin Burnson playing Amazing. the grandparents. And, uh, and then great grandma has to come live with them too because she's got dementia. Aww. And so, the, and that's Cloris Leachman. Oh my. And uh, so we have this generational family living in this two bedroom house. <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it's fun and, and it's, it, it's just, it's, it's that roller coaster of laughing one minute, crying the next. Oh, I love but, that. Uh, but it's a great story of redemption mm -hmm. and forgiveness mm -hmm. and, and uh, relational, getting to know each other, and we're and it's 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 a great story. And when will that be about released? It. That'll be in theaters third quarter of this year. Okay. So it'll be in theaters first, and then released on DVD probably toward the first of next year. Great! Wow. I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm gonna well, Rick, that. it's so good to have you on the show today. Yeah. Thank you. It's great. It's so great you. to see you here, yes, and so. we're looking forward to coming back to yes. our show. Yes. And we got some exciting things we're mm -hmm. cooking up here together. We are. That to, can really bless the Christian people. And thank you for producing films that yes. the whole family can thank watch. You. Well, thank you guys for letting people know about them. You know, I think we, uh, we encourage each other and yes. help each other. And 
I appreciate so much what you guys are doing. We well, we had the t we had a great time at Trump Prophecy Movie. I guess that was just called. <laughs> and just, and just loved it. But it and was just that we all were there. It was like all of Morningside yeah. went to the same theater. That's right. And so yeah, honestly, also, it was like Mayberry. I, I'm serious. So, we so just saying, you know we were all great. talking together, we're all yeah. there, fun. and then it all it. join really hands nice. and pray together yeah. at the end of the movie. And may I just That's pretty wild. About about the Trump Prophecy Movie or Trump Prophecy movie is that it's going to be in it'll be in Walmart yes. as, a, as a Walmart exclusive starting March the 5th that's great uh, in cap so you walk down the aisle in cap means when you walk down the aisle yep. it's in front of you it's right You're there gonna see it. and uh, so we're excited about that yes. and, 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 and having a broader base for letting the world see this movie and take it home with them and share it with uh, with friends yes so, that's, uh, that's great. Some, great to have you here so good to Thank see you, you. I, I just I've really been thinking about this the whole time you, you told me that you live here in Charlotte. That's right. You were born not too far from here. That's right. And you knew someone who worked with me. I did. One of my, actually one of my spiritual fathers was, and my, my youth pastor was Steve Bird. And Steve Bird pastored what church? He pastored Gar Memorial here in, and, uh, in his last York. Yes. And the Gars were amazing people. <laughs> uh, I came in at the end of the, the elder Gars, mm -hmm. and then there's their son, Brother Gar, right. uh, uh, Alfred. Alfred, yep. he pastored. You know, Alfred Gar helped liberate in the camps, mm -hmm. the the camps where the Jews were being murdered. Really? And Auschwitz. Yes. And he has the pictures of what it was when he walked in there and they walked. And I've seen it. Yes. I've seen his wow. pictures. And I'll tell you what, nobody will ever tell me that. People say that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. My oh. God, it yes. happened. And, and they know it happened. But this was the guards. And, and then Brother Bird, he help he took over that church right but he was one of the co-hosts on the ptl club on television as we begin our worldwide trip or right. on television he right. he was amazing he's i just found out from you that he's gone to be with the lord he is uh he just had such a presence about him he, mm -hmm. he was just to give you a big bear hug and he just yeah he's a great guy and, he was the uh, he was, was everybody that watched our show he was pre Uncle Henry. He was wow. he was the Uncle Henry See, before I'm Uncle still Henry. Still learning things about Jim Baker. <laughs> See, Rick, and you're 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 bringing it back to life for hey. Jim. This is so exciting. Well, you great. are this. An, an so we're in the family of God, and yes. there's a circle in yes. this family. Of God. Right now, we're going to switch back to Gray Street <laughs> at Her at Morningside. I'm getting them all mixed he up here. This is Heritage <laughs> USA, and this is Main Street USA, yes. and we're going back now to. <laughs> Grace Morning Morningside. Morning Thank you, Rick. We love you. We appreciate you Thank so you. much.